I've not recorded the max gust, but it is bad. It's just coming and going, isn't it? And I'll put the better mic in in a bit. <coughs> so there's a lot of wind noise here. That won't be the case. I'll put a standalone mic in in a bit. We're in the bottom here area, <coughs> heading up to Innominant Tarn for a testing night and a good laugh. But it's pretty cold, minus nine in the wind. We've got a load of craft beer. 18 mile an hour wind, mate. Yeah. And it should be a good testing camp again. Make the most of the winter ones before the milder weather heads in. So I won't talk probably again for the next three seconds. <laughs> but I'll show you some of the scenery on the way up to this one. So far, the winds are maxing out at 22. Lots of people say that you know, oh, you know, 60, 70 mile hour winds are proper strong winds. You can't really stand up in, in winds that high. Uh, so I'm always dubious about claims that tents have withstood 70 mile an hour winds because 20, 30, and a bit of fabric with some poles is, is a lot. So we'll press on keep enjoying these dramatic views and see where we get oh the dubs hot body it's always nice to come in here seek refuge there are a few supplies, a couple of pot noodles, some gas for fellow hikers, body code, leave it better than you found it and leave some items for people who may be in need of help and shelter. Atmospheric, although I've never spent overnight in a body, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a great way, you know, you might not end up with a bit of solitude, there might be some people in there, but if you're a sociable fellow, that might be your bag. But always nice to come and seek refuge from the elements in a body. So we'll press on and we'll get to our pitch location. Look at that. I'm not looking at now. I mean that uh, I wouldn't come up there, man. I've doomed. Oh, oh god. Was Where was it that creeped me out, Andy? Was it um it was U barrel, wasn't it? You know when we got the top of that bit on U barrel coming down. Mm -hmm. See down. Uh, well it's a bit it's been wet, hasn't it? Look at that. What a lovely spot. So I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to stay here. Uh, it's a bit too boggy, probably going to make our way back down to Blackbeck uh, where the ground is a bit better. So it's a bit of a disappointment, um, but you know, at least we've come up here. There's those lovely views, a pillar, there's still a bit of snow in some of the gullies. But yeah, I've camped here before, I could easily get my tent here, but we all want to be together. There's four of us. So we're going to have to go back um, to the initial spot. I'll leave you with some final views of Wainwright's resting place here at Anonymous Town, sacred place here in the Lake District National Park, special place.
You're not having that. I want magnetic pockets. So I'm testing out this jacket from Through Dark, the Melee. Very first time, so I won't be commenting yet. Looks good. Uh, it's got lots of nice features, which I'll talk you through in a future video. But today, it's his very first outing here in the great outdoors. We'll see how it performs, and I'll speak to you about it in an upcoming video. Bit of a chill. Um, you know in the wind which we shelter from thankfully because at one point it was looking pretty grim um, and I was wondering how we were going to fare so we come to this spot here in a bit of a bowl bit of shelter and it's uh, it's pretty idyllic obviously the lads are set up there we've got this lovely source of water behind us we've got some flowing water albeit I've took um, a fair amount with me but yeah idyllic spot views down to bottom here and we're losing the last of the light so so far a great day and a great afternoon in the great outdoors wants to be fire mate but want oh a warming glow i've not seen that before no I think you sent me a video like. It lit the whole bothy up, didn't it? <laughs> Did it just last all night as well? Yeah. All night? Oh, all that's night. what you need. It's what you need, right?
So we're just waiting for that meal to do its thing. Just trying to stay organised. Uh, it's just in here, nice and sealed up, keeps it insulated. I always mention it, but it works well and it just preserves that heat, which is always good. The air temperature is pretty cold outside. Um, it takes a bit of a while just to, to get to what it is. Um, but yeah, it's nice that the wind uh, has dropped down. Um, actually, you know, it was it's forecast to be a lot higher than it was. Um, but, you know, we found some shelter. If we'd have gone to our original intended pitch location, uh, I'm sure it would have been pretty, pretty brutal. But there just wasn't a space for four tents. So, you know, it wasn't to be. So we come here and, you know, a byproduct of that is it's much more sheltered, which is good. Six degrees, uh, it's obviously a bit colder when you're out in the in the, the wind, but this tent is nice, it retains the heat. And there's limited mesh on this model in the Access One. So it's all about preserving that warmth and heat, which kind of striking that balance between doing that and you know allowing some cool air in to try and prevent condensation. But it's always a difficult balance, but in the four season tents, it's about preserving your warmth. So we give it a few minutes, we'll get into our meal and then we'll enjoy another beer. Uh, sorry if the audio is a little bit messed up, but I'm just getting to grips with this new setup. Uh, hopefully the levels are okay. Bit of spag ball, it's always a nice one. Especially with the, the reindeer stew as well. Oh, but that looks, it smells fantastic. And uh, we're gonna have one of my favorite beers, this Highland Suntan. Oh. Oh God. So yeah, bit of bit of Highland Suntan by the Glen Affric Brewery, which I've been reliably formed. It's not in Scotland. That's it, brewed in Birkenhead on Merseyside, so there you go. Spag Bolt, the old classic. Hearty, simple and warming. Quick mouthful, customary. Very nice. There's a bit of a strong gust of wind, but other than the door moving a bit, we're okay. Well, as always, cheers to the great outdoors. I'm gonna sit and enjoy this, and then go back out, have a few beers with the lads. Well, good morning everyone. Uh, it was a good night's sleep in the Access One. I had to put my earplugs in because, as you can still see, a little bit now. Uh, the winds picked up a bit. There were some very strong individual gusts uh, coming through. Um, the, stent, the tent was nice and solid. 
um, but it's always hard, isn't it, to sleep when it's so loud. The volume um, of you know the wind hitting the tent, you know, makes sleep pretty much impossible. So I put my earplugs in, and it was fine. Um, there's some low-level cloud about this morning, which you've probably seen from the shots outside of the tent. It's very atmospheric and dramatic in this area that we're in. So I'm going to have a bite of something to eat, get that down me, and then we'll get packed up and get off the mountain before the forecast rain gets everything wet. Um, hopefully you enjoy the views on the latter part of the video, and maybe the winds are going to pick up a bit more, give a bit more of a test for the MSR Access 1. Well, here's the rain, it was forecast, thought we got a bit lucky and escaped that. Once again, I'm going to have a soaking wet tent to contend with when I get back home. But it's all part of the fun and it's all part of the adventure. I'm just packing away, just try and keep it methodical when it's like this. Um, everything ends up not packed as I'd like it really because the tent is obviously up last, um, but it's a really small pack size, so all I'm gonna do is strap this tent to the uh, front of my rucksack. So I'm gonna crack on, get packed away. Um, hopefully it's you know blown over by the time I'm ready to come out. And I'll get a few more shots uh, of around the tent, some of this low atmospheric cloud. So we'll crack on. Bit of tent gymnastics. My usual site check, absolutely no trace, nothing left and in fact some litter that was left here by whoever was previously here, we've taken that out with us so it's always best to leave it better than you find it. Right that's it for an end of another video, a quick exit because of the weather, it's closed in, look at that, full of clag, good laugh, Stoker, good to meet you. Cheers mate, all the best. And link to his channel below, Wardle, you know that miscreant. <laughs> Go and enjoy the great outdoors yourself. Get out there, check out the back catalogue. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.